Hey, hey everybody, it's Overkill here with a brand new premiere for a brand new series. So, this is of course going to be my third Age of Charlemagne campaign going on after the Danes and the Emirate of Cordoba. We are playing as the Avars, or Avars, whatever. Um, basically, I wanted three of the most like distinct factions, um, other than the other Europeans, basically. So we have the Danes here. Emirate of Cordoba in Spain, and now these guys over near Croatia. So we basically went to every point of the map. So I thought that would be the best for the channel. Um, three of the most diverse campaigns. And yeah, I just thought that that would be the best for everybody. So you can actually watch most of these campaigns and not feel like you're watching the same thing over and over. So the Avars, our fashion leader is Zabir. Uh, we are followers of Tangri, which is nice. It's interesting, the only... Uh, faction in the campaign that is Tengri, just like the Emirates are the only Muslim faction. Uh, there's a little bit of a description here if you wish to read that. Our faction trait is horsemanship. We have uh, we get time uh, well we get 100% extra uh, battle experience for cavalry, which is awesome. And we have no post battle casualties for cavalry units which have routed or withdrawn from battle. So that's also very useful. Although I do not plan to have routed cavalry. <laughs> No, of course. Of course, there will be things. There will be units lost. There will be mistakes made. <laughs> Let's just get that on the table now. Um, so we, this is where we start. We just start east of Croatia a little bit. Croatia is this area here, basically. If you don't know your geography like I do, I don't know shit. I just know that that's where it is because I've played this campaign a little bit before. Um, our start year is 768 AD, and our initial challenge is normal. Uh, of course, just like any other campaign, we need to reach Imperium level 5, no problem. And I believe everything is good. Oh, advisor help. Okay, good. Anyway, let's get right into this. So we are, of course, going to skip the Charlemagne uh, trailer. Like I say in the other two campaigns, there's no po real point to watch it for this campaign because it has nothing to do with uh, the Avars. And by this point, everyone has seen it, so there's no point to sit through it because it is a bit lengthy as well. So yeah, we'll go ahead and skip right over that and get right into the action. I need to be careful not to skip the uh, the mysterious hooded advisor man telling me what to do, though. Gotta watch out for that. But we'll see. So how is all your guys' day going? Mine's going great. Now playing some more Attila. You took me happy. the Pannonian Basin for your home. Now that safety is threatened. To the south, the Croats have crept in, attempting to undo your hard-fought Karganate. Whilst to the north, other Slavic tribes press upon you, covetous of the fertile lands under Avar control. These encroachments cannot be tolerated. To the west, the Franks are concerned with their own civil strife, but they will not be distracted forever and will turn their swords against any who do not worship their one God. It is now clear your people cannot remain solely in the Pannonian Basin. The time is coming to expand the kingdom. Italy lies to the southwest across the Po Valley and beyond the Alps, Germania and Francia. Fearsome challenges, but you can rise to them. You must. Avar survival depends upon it. Destiny awaits beyond your proud borders, Kargan. Reach out and grasp it. Hell yeah, we're gonna take over the whole world. Alright, so war weariness, you all know what that is by this point. If you're not, basically if you get screwed over in wars, um, war, in, war, war weariness starts leveling up and uh, or increasing, it says. But um, basically, that's morale and public order problems. Um, so basically, you just need to make sure you win wars, not lose them. So we're going to move right ahead. A Croatian army is going to come and attack Kaposvar. Uh, that's a given. I know this because I am, a, I am a fortune teller, of course, as you know. No, it's just I've tried to record this before and it didn't really work. So yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and get two tribesmen then that should be good. That's a good start. All right. So what what's interesting about the Avars is literally every unit in this army right now has bows except for the levy spearmen. Even these tribesmen uh, have bows. 
it's crazy. Even the Lancers have bows. They have two shots. Um, what like they 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 release a volley before they charge in, which is crazy. It's so cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and look at what we need to uh, to upgrading that lightning sh shrine would be very good. Um, that takes most of my money though, so I don't really have to worry about much else. Um, we'll go for politics here. Anybody need some help? Oh, this guy isn't very. Doesn't seem like a very cool guy. He's uh he's a bit. Actually, no. If I put him into an office, uh, his loyalty will go up. So never mind. We'll just do that. All right. So these two are chilling there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put both of them on resettlement, just to get the growth basically. And we are going to research some public order because we need to make our people happy because they start off kind of pissed off it seems and uh, they're about to get a lot more pissed off so we're going to go ahead and actually let's look at diplomacy you see we start off at war with Croatia the Duchy of Croatia then there's the Duchy of Bavaria to our west and to our northwest there's Bohemia and, uh, and yeah they're they're all going to die eventually but uh, let's see how long that takes so we'll end the first turn and right on cue Croatia attacks Kapovar, Kapovar, whatever. Yeah, you can see they do not have a strong force. Uh, I am, of course, not going to fight that. Instead, I'm just going to let them do whatever they want. We'll get them. We'll get our revenge. So they lost 86 men, mostly on their general and one other unit. They tried to go back to the border, but they couldn't j quite get there. So we got the mission for the Avar Cognate. Uh, basically, we just need to get our Imperium level 5, and we will create the Avar Cognate, which gives us a bunch of morale across all of our forces, more loyalty, and lots of public order, which is great. So, we'll, of course, we'll want to do that. So this army has almost caught up to them, but not quite. So that actually that's actually just another chance for us to recruit more, uh, more tribesmen and other cavalry. Uh, three Avar Lancers is definitely enough, so I'm going to go ahead and get more Horse Archers. And that should be a pretty good force. 16 units, more than enough to take out Croatia by themselves. All right, so there's one thing, there's two things that Croatia could do. They could either run past my army and attack Moseberg, or they could run back to Put. Uh, again, uh, I'm not sure if that's actually how it's pronounced, but there's a mission uh, called Put Them in Their Place. So I assume it's either Put or very close to it. So I'm just going to call it that. You guys can hate me later. But uh, anyway, let's look at these now that I think about it. I should have looked at those earlier. Uh, we need to hold two settlements, including uh, Put and Sizak, which of course we will do. Maintain 40 units in total. We could try. Construct a Celestial Temple. We're working on that right now, actually. Uh, maintain 80%. That's going to be a bit difficult pushing against um, the Croatians, but whatever. Uh, have an income of 5,000 talents. And research King's Court. So what we'll do... We'll try to do all those things, but uh, <laughs> no promises that they'll get done. Oh, I should fix that first. All right, and another turn. And we'll see what they do. Are they going to run for Moseberg, or are they going to try to run away from me? No, they went for Moseberg. Oh, actually, no, they went for Kapasvar again. All right. You silly devils. Oh, that's interesting. That's really weird that they just ran right past them to go there. I, I assumed they were going to go for the other city. Whatever. You can do that if you want. Oh, and they're actually just sitting sitting there now. So our war weariness, you can see, has gone up. It uh, takes away two morale and one public order from all provinces. But um, as soon as we as soon as soon we like kill this army and uh, take put or something, they'll, uh, they won't be so okay with it. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be the first battle, because that's a lot of, uh, that's quite a bit in their favor. I don't want to lose all my men. And, I mean, this is going to be a simple battle. We have archers and some units of cav. Oops. It, it's no contest. In before I lose. No. And it's a reasonably flat battleground as well, so that's even more in my favor. But yeah, you get to see these units out on the field, which is good, because they are very unique compared to the rest of the factions. Um, I would say the second most unique faction in the game is uh, Cordoba, these guys being the first. So let's, before we 
fight. Let's actually just take a look at these units. So these are the tribesmen. These are a tier 2 uh, medium spear infantry. You can see they don't have any shields. They have bows. They're basically an archer unit that have a two-handed spear. But um, don't let that fool you. These guys are awesome in fighting. Or in fighting. In combat. And um, yeah, they, they have all the options of archers. And then, of course, everyone's seen Levy Spearmen. Every faction has Levy Spearmen, basically. These guys are just glorious because they have nice eastern mustaches. Then there's Levy Archers, which, honestly, I'm going to get rid of as soon as I can because they are useless. Um, basically, everybody has bows already, in even our infantry, so archers are pretty much obsolete. Uh, so then we have the Avar Lancers. You can see here that they actually ride with their bows out as well. Um, and they have their lances on their back, which are deadly looking. So yeah, like I said, as soon as they get close to the charge, they release a volley, a quick volley and charge in, which is awesome. Then we have our general's unit, uh, the Avar Guard. And you can see they're basically just he very heavily armored Avar Lancers, but they have bows as well. <laughs> only I believe that they have more ammunition. Oh, nope, they just have the two as well. They only shoot when they charge in. And then finally, to top it off, we have the Avar Horse Archers, which are basically just archers on horses they're not nobles or anything they're not special they're just wearing their normal clothes uh, they're on a horse so yeah anyway guys let's get into this battle so i'm going to keep my general with my uh lancers he's going to chill over there and basically everybody else can just do whatever they want like the levies can chill i don't really care all right We'll just group them all up. Whatever. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Reinforcements have arrived. They don't really matter, though. Not really planning on using them, so it's okay. Now, if I could flank around and shoot at those cav, those noble cav, that would be nice. I'm going to load up on flaming shot just in case. Because everybody knows flaming shot kills horses. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start shooting there. These guys I'm going to move right outside their range. Uh, these levy spears are going to chill here. We could deliver a devastating charge right into this enemy formation with our Avar Lancers. And uh, it wouldn't really affect us that badly. Uh, of course, trying to pull out, we would probably die. But, um, yeah. It's no big deal. Alright, let's see if we can get some cheeky shots in here. Maybe get a volley off or something. And then run away. Oh, nope, they didn't fire. Oh, yes, they did. Excellent. Look at that. They actually killed a bunch, too. Oh, oh, here they go. Oh, jeez. Let me pause this sloppy. Alright. So we'll just get everybody. We'll just get these guys actually shooting at people right now. Get these levy spears going up here as well. Those skirmisher cavalry are so screwed. All right. So what's going on right now? <laughs> oh, run! Oh, come on now. I keep forgetting that skirmish mode isn't on on horse archers. Crap. Get away. Shoot them. Alright. They want me to charge, apparently. Get ready. Alright, so those Noble Cav are not going to be a problem. Uh, our men are kind of freaking out in the center, though. We're going to have to uh, bring in the cavalry quickly. Actually, we don't even have to focus on the enemy general. Just go straight for them. My horse archers can take out the enemy general. If I get all of them firing. 
Men of Rally to go. All right, there we go, a full volley into the general's unit. The enemy are losing ground. All right, fine. Um, we'll get some of them, uh, some of the horse archers going after these guys then. That means you don't need to fire because you're probably just going to end up killing my own men. Our men run from the enemy. This is shameful. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. There we go. Enemy general dead. Enemy general is dead. Excellent. Uh, these guys are trying to chase down these archers. But yeah, basically uh, all the enemy are dead. Levy spearmen are gone. The entire enemy general's unit just disappeared, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, we need to get rid of these levy archers. Um, how many are left here? Ten? All right. And there we go. A glorious victory will soon be yours. Let's see if we can actually wipe this army out and not have to uh, finish up any remnants. All right, those units should be done. Levy spearmen. Levy spearmen. And that's it. I think I did kill everything. That was decisive. I did lose a few horse archers that I shouldn't have. Um, that was a bit foolish on my part. Sorry about that. Yeah, they only have 12 men remaining. There's no way that army's getting away. If it is, it's I'm going to call. I'm going to call bullshit. Nope, it's gone. Alright, so Croatia is boned now. Basically. Now we're going to replenish. And yeah, that means we get to ride to put now so i'm gonna actually take a turn i'm gonna ah, i'm gonna take a turn of replenishment and we're gonna go ahead and put up your cunning so that your units aren't so expensive two turns we're gonna have our upgraded thingy so also we need to go ahead and repair all this crap all right so next turn we'll go ahead and attack put they may have a force uh mustard there but it'll be what a couple of units at most no problem. Even if they do. Oh, plus 60 with Bohemia. Interesting. Oh, maybe we should wait another turn. You may as well get settled in. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the extra turn. I don't want to lose more men just m walking there. So I won't. We'll chill out here. All right, so now they are ready to attack it. There's no one there. So we are going to be able to just auto-resolve. Losing quite a few, which is a bit of a shame, but nothing we can really do. War weariness went down. That's excellent. And we have a farm and a manor. Cool. All right. Now what I want to do is I need to make sure that um I need to make sure that when I take Czak I make it into a long haul because I I <laughs> I need to remember that because um there's a quest later on where you must build uh two of the same building but you need a long haul to do it so I can build one here no problem but I need, I need to remember um for later So let's see. The integrity of this guy is actually going up quite a bit. Uh, we'll make it a bit better. We'll put up the integrity one more. And um, honestly, we could move on. We could maybe station a general here to kind of guard it. But I don't know if I want to want to take up the money. Let's see. Um, King's Hall is that far away. I would s I'd say we could go for it. Yeah, let's try it. Hmm. I think we're we're actually going to develop this, and we're going to get a sacred spring, um, just to increase the the sanitation here because it is pretty bad. Let's be honest. All right. So in another turn, and we'll see what's up. The Croats are probably building a force now at Cizak. Um. 
Very slowly, I would imagine. Food shortage resolved. All right. Mm, Two thousand for that. That's a bit of a. It's a bit of an investment. All right. Well, anyway, uh, we're gonna start marching on Czak. Um, just for now, I'm gonna le I'm gonna put someone here. He's just gonna chill there, and he's gonna get. They're gonna take up a bit of money, so maybe I don't want to do that. So here you can see, yep, the uh, Croatians are building an army, but we managed to scare them off. Yeah, it's not giving us a huge advantage, of course, attacking the city. But we're not going to attack the city. What, do they think we are crazy? I don't know. Alright, so, uh, can we actually get... Yes, we can. Okay, we're definitely going to get a, uh, shaman. And we are going to start converting everybody to Tengri. Tengri is actually going down in our own provinces, so... Yeah. Honestly, I could probably even use another. Can you recruit two in the same turn? No. Oh, I can only have one anyway, apparently. Never mind. Our Imperium needs to go up, I guess. Alright. So, a governor. We'll go ahead and give you governor things. Uh, more governor things. Governor, governor. Good enough. Sieging without equipment. We don't need it. We're not actually going to attack them. Well, actually, that's not true. That was kind of dumb. Yeah, I, I do need that. <laughs> oh, war weariness increased because we're besieging. Not fun. Yeah, we do need this. Uh, they're going to take attrition though, so after this turn, they're going to be they're going to be in pretty bad shape. Um, you're going to come down here, and you're going to do your special inspire populace. Whoa, that fe that not feedback, but that pop. Good lord, I'm sorry about that, guys. I heard that in my own microphone, in my own uh, headset, so I can only imagine it's probably pretty bad. Wow, this place is pissed. Public order is being helped quite a bit here now. Hmm. Well, I definitely don't want to bring another army here. That's for darn sure. Yeah, because they're going to rebel next turn. That's the problem. Uh, let's see. I will. I guess I will raise another one just to be here. For the tribe. I want hourly patrol. That's right. The thing is, I want to save my money so that I can actually uh, convert everything in Croatia. I don't want to spend all my money on armies right now. I don't want to spend it all on armies right now. Alright, so of course they're not at taking attrition. Um, that was kind of dumb of me to assume that. I don't know why I thought that. Uh, we're going to go for authority and zeal. But you can see that has put our chances of winning up quite a bit. Oh. Well, I mean, we'll survive it. They're not recruiting. And this garrison is soon going to be disappearing. <laughs> so, it won't be that big of a deal. Crap, man. Fine. I'll, I'll get the troops. Whatever. Because these places are going to freak out very soon. So, we'll go another turn further. We're going to take some attrition from the winter, of course, but it'll be nothing compared to what those guys are losing from Siege. Yeah, 127 men, not too bad. Pannonia is going to rebel, and Croatia. Great. 
Oh, what the hell happened? They had lower public order last turn than they do now. Alright. Great. Ready for Ready for awesome. Alright, well, it looks like I'm making an army out of these two forces. And that's good enough. Now, see, I would just attack it and kill these guys outside, but I mean, like, my units are not really good for a siege. Laying siege to their ah, we can just wait. What am I saying? Screw it. Alright, so one rebellion popped up. Did the other one? Did I only have this rebellion? That would be pretty cool. Rebellion in Croatia. Alright. So now now the rebellion's imminent, apparently. Yeah, no thanks. Ready for orders. Thirsty for battle. Alright, so what are we dealing with? Warriors all. Getting on our way. Warriors all. Hmm, we could do this. Thirsty for battle. You gonna help me out? What? Oh, yes you are. All right. Yep, you can go away. Even though I actually I, w I would have been able to kill all them just with my horse archers probably. I just didn't know what they had. All right, so you're gonna go back there, and the public order is not so bad now. And you've been left out. All right. Wonderful. Interesting. I'm going to go ahead and give you cunning so that your troops aren't so expensive and killing my economy. Oh, there we go. We've breached the walls. Yeah, maybe it is for the best that we do this. But all I know, I just know that no matter where we deploy, the, the enemy army is just going to Screw that over. Oh well. But yeah, the enemy garrison has been reduced to nothing, basically. Which is good. Like, a couple of volleys from my horse archers would probably be enough to break them. Be enough to break some of those units, that is. Yeah, I already know. Like, if I go, like, here. <laughs> it depends on where I deploy, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll go for rain, make it look cool. So that means they're probably going to be over here, if the deployment works the way it should. So do I know before the battle where the breach was? Oh, broken gate. Oh, awesome. Well, I might as well just attack here then. But I don't know. Ah, screw it. Uh, excuse me. My levy spearmen can take the ladder. Oh, they do have ladders. Well, whatever. Still. Their settlement is on fire. Alright. Let me guess. They're coming in from over there. Or, no? No? Oh, alright. It said they were coming in from somewhere, though. Like, over there, I think. I don't know. Either way, we're getting all of our horse archers to shoot at these ar normal archers. Oh, wow, we're cutting down, like, dozens of them. That's awesome. Love archers. Alright, so... The tribesmen are basically just gonna... Actually, they're gonna take some shots. Yeah, yeah. look at that. Their archers are gone. We're free to do whatever we want. Tribesmen. 
are firing at these guys. Not really killing anybody, but it made them move away at the very least. Alright, so take advantage of that. Get in there. Oh, skirmishers. Definitely take them out. They are a bit of a threat. We have sighted the enemy. Oh. They're coming from across that bridge? Is that what they're doing? That'd be pretty cool, actually. Alright, so our tribesmen are going to get in without any problems. Alright, we killed those skirmishers. So now we just continue shooting the rest of their infantry, basically. Oh, there's their general. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot at him, basically. Oh, he's coming for us. Let's go get him. Alright, he's not going to last very long. Not against all those spears. Nope, they're dropping. Good. So yeah, like I thought, we've basically just been able to shoot them to death. We've lost five men. <laughs> Pretty good. And our, our levy spearmen are right about at the walls. So they do, of course, have that army coming in. So I still don't know where those actually are. Oh, enemy general's dead. Perfect. I honestly think they're coming in, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you take that off. Get in there. Everybody get in there. We need to find where these enemies are. Oh, there's a unit. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. So we got a few shots off on them. So they were coming from over here. All right. Oh, wow, they're wavering already. Interesting. All right, so... They're going to start dying. And I wouldn't imagine they're going to stick around very long. No. Well, get in here, dude. Excellent. Alright, well, we got Guard Cav. Interesting. Oh look, there's the rest of their army right there. They they still haven't even actually gotten in here. Interesting. All right, stop firing. Oh wow, look at that. Those archers are all wavering. New. No. I want to kill them. All right, so the guard cav are dying. Very slowly. Which is a bit of a problem. Hmm. Alright, there we go. So basically, I'm going to get these two of our Lancers to charge right into those guys. Oh, I didn't realize I was being shot at by those towers that whole time. Whoops. Oh well. But yeah, these guys are going to go ahead and charge them. Basically, everyone's just going to charge headlong into them. Uh, we've captured that. All right. Oh, it's actually it's actually counting down. All right. Oh, wow. Look at that. They instantly broke. But yeah, I need to get you guys out of here. That's a bit of a problem. You guys are getting shot to pieces by towers. I don't want that. I mean, there's literally no chance of them winning this, but I don't want to lose all my men. But yeah, most of their units are wavering, so... I 
think we're good. Oh, we've actually captured the towers. There we go. Or, well, destroyed them. Alright. Oh, darn. I wish they were dead. Oh, where's, where's my general's unit? Oh, he's just chilling over there. Alright. Alright, just start shooting normally at the levy archers. These guys are going to charge right in. Ah! Let's go. Oh, they started running away. Mercenary armored spearmen. We'll see about that. Oh god. No, no, no. No, it's okay. Let the uh let the tribesmen fight. Everybody else run away. Yeah, we lost a lot of lancers. That's very bad. But whatever. This was all Croatia had to offer, basically, so I think we're good. Moments, this fort will fall to us. Oh, we're about to win anyway, regardless, so let's just sit back and relax. There we go. Victory. Oh, well, I should have chased them a bit, but whatever. We can chase down that army later. Yeah, you can see I lost a lot of stuff uh, for nothing, basically, which is a bit of a pain. But, uh, oh well, we took the city. So we'll occupy it, and uh, these guys will run away, I would imagine. Yep, there they go. And we went to Imperium level 2, that's nice. And our war weariness went down because we won that battle. Excellent. So I need to make sure that I put this into a long haul. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to keep that. All right. So those guys are chilling. Uh, we're going to start replenishing, but good lord. It's probably going to take a while, it seems. All right, we're going to have a rebellion to deal with there. And we have some undeveloped land. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another... Oh, I'm going to get another one of these. Another uh, shaman. And uh, they're going to come down here or something. Alright. Oh, I can elect a governor for Croatia. Yes, of course. Yeah, whatever. And we'll do a resettlement, of course, because that's the only one that really makes sense right now. And yeah, what will Croatia do? Alright, they tried to run away over the river there was a rebellion in Croatia and Pannonia not cool oh go away of course it was it, of course it's over there oh shit alright the garrison is good but I'm not sure how good Oh, well, no, they can't even attack in one turn anyway, so we're safe. Never mind. Uh, you're going to go ahead and spread religion better. And you, 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 you. Everybody's just so mad. Yes, I'm sure. Uh, we're just going to give you random things. I don't even care. Uh, so this army is looking a bit better now. But, uh, yeah, we need to cross this river. Alright, so this is undeveloped. And also we need to convert that. So I'm, oh, I can't even save money. Everything's so expensive. Ready for orders. Thirsty for battle. Move out. Whatever. I'll take the casualties and stuff as long as they die. Warriors old. There we go. On our way. Ready for Perfect. Uh, so we're going to take morale and replenishment. 
They're gonna chill back it. Put Poot. Tush. Patouge. I don't know. And, uh, yeah. Can I even leave here? We can't do that. Not really. But you know what? YOLO. Uh, I'm definitely not going to attack them over a river. Ready for battle. Starting out. Okay, one well, another turn. I just don't want to move on and leave that army there to attack Cezak because I know they will. They obviously will. Oh, well, if you insist. Oh crap! How much do you need for a fort? Half. All right, so we're going to take a little... Oh, I hate the movement system in Attila so much. <sighs> oh, whatever. So, such a shitty system. All right, you're a general, so... Yeah, we'll get that or something. Yeah, whatever. No! <sighs> Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. <sighs> yeah, and they're just gonna keep fucking running over rivers. So basically, it was pointless. God damn it. I want hourly patrols. Now they have a pretty Warriors decent all. army. Fuck my life. All right. Yeah, and they have Avar units. Oh God. Well, this is gonna be interesting to say the least. We have one more unit than them. I mean, I could make them waste their Onager ammo if I uh, just micro my Cav. I can make them waste all of it. So, you know, yeah, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can get them to shoot at, like, one cav unit and just avoid it. Sure. All right, so all these guys, chill back here. We're going to go ahead and run forward with these guys. And we're going to get them to waste all their ammo. All right, so that <laughs> it actually worked there for a little bit. Oh, that one. Nope. Okay. All right. Apparently, you can't avoid them. Nope. No matter what, they're still gonna fucking hit them. Of course. Oh no, alright, you have to watch and see. Crap. That's what it is, yeah. Yeah, they aim right for where you're about to go, but if they if you move before they shoot, or after they shoot. Alright, that makes a bit more sense. No, 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 no. Alright. All right, so we've made them waste a lot of ammo. No, they're going to hit. Oh, my God. Can you imagine how scary this would be? All right, so we've made them waste most of their ammo. Oh, crap. I need to move further away. They're getting easier shots. Oh, we're just barely avoiding them. But now those units are going to be useless, basically. Oh, they've had enough of my crap, apparently. Oh, 
Okay, it took me a while to figure it out, but uh, it did work. Oh, also, I should get uh, everybody together, I suppose. Oh, there's only one. All right. So how much ammo have we wasted? Are they out yet? No, they're about to be out. Oh, that one hit, I think. Oh, no! It's too many to do with... Alright, they're out, finally. Alright, so we only lost like half that unit, no big deal. But yeah, now those are useless. Alright. But, I mean... Half of a unit is better than, like, half of my army. So, there is that. But, yeah, they still have a lot of stuff that we need to deal with, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah. They have what? Do they only have one unit of Force Archers? Oh, they do. All right. They have a few units of real archers, which isn't too big of a deal, but they have lots of cavalry. That's my problem. I'm just going to hard group these guys. Oh, whoops. I do want you to go up in the front, though. All right, so we'll just speed it up and wait for everybody to get in position. Alright, and let's get to shooting. Honestly, I think I'm going to put all my cav on one flank, just to overpower them. Actually, no, that's kind of suicidal, just running in there against multiple units of bows when I only have one. At least wait until all my cav is moving. Or not moving, but in position. Oh, they went into shield wall apparently. Yeah, that's going to help you. Oh, they're moving. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. The general's unit. Yep. Oh, they're going for my general, apparently. Alright. Well, I'll intercept your charge. I don't care. Yep, we sh broke all of their uh, shot cav. Excellent. Now we're going to get our horse archers to go shoot at the enemy general. Alright, perfect. Yeah, the rebels have been crushed at this point. There's no point in sugarcoating it. They're, uh, they're pretty boned. Alright, screw it. You guys, yeah, shoot at them. Oh, well, charge into them. Yeah, you're now, you're now a chasing unit. So both my generals should be able to take down theirs. Yep, there we go. Alright, so there goes the rebels, basically.
All right, perfect. So yeah, that unit of Force Archers might get away, and I might have to auto-resolve against them, but uh, whatever. Oh! Come on now. Go after him. Alright, let's quickly get rid of these guys. These Levy Archers. Don't want them to survive. Kill them. Oh, there's two units there, of course. Alright. So I think I would take it that that means that unit's pretty, pretty much destroyed. I can't even get a look at it. Alright, whatever. Decisive victory. Excellent. We lost 114. A lot more archers than we should have to those dang catapults, but whatever. Not too big of a deal. Alright, we'll take them on. And yeah, that one unit made that army survive. But we were able to catch them, so let's just get rid of them. Perfect. Alright. Oh, the public order is actually not terrible now. You know what that means? I'm getting rid of some of these bastards. Actually, I should get rid of the units that didn't, that didn't actually get experience. There we go. Yeah, see, look at that. What a bunch of buggers. Oh, wasting my time. Oh, why did I do that? Whoops. Probably going to get an attack now, but whatever. Uh, general. Take that stuff. And this army leveled up. Or the traditions went up. Excellent. I didn't really take a look at the public order of everywhere else. That was kind of dumb. Should have done that. Oh. Alright. Oh, both of their uh, both of their client states broke from them, though. So, have fun with that, Lombards. Interesting that they declared war. Warriors all. Oh wow. Yeah, so about Speak that. Quickly. I don't know. Alright, you're going for it. Whatever. Ready for battle. Fine by me. Get moving. Alright, I'm chasing them right On down. The so they've Warriors occupied them, or they've, uh, not occupied. They've, uh, camped up at, uh, Jajra. No problem. Yeah, I'm disbanding this army. I don't need it. Screw it. It's taking up money that I could use on other stuff. I'm not, ma not making anything per turn, basically. Alright. Uh, let's end another turn real quick. I do want to take Jadra before the end of this episode, so I'm going to try my best to uh, to do that with the limited amount of time we have left. If everything goes right, I should be able to just uh, besiege it and wait them out. But yeah, I mean, but the Lombards can't fight me. They just got declared, they, like four factions just declared war on them. Warriors other than me. So... Let them Whatever. All right. Oh, but they have to wait two turns because uh, the fact that they're a port. Yeah, that is right. Religious differences differences are the big thing. Oh, you uh, you leveled up. That's good. Oh, you're actually keeping this place like super happy. If I moved you away, still happy, and then that makes this place happy. Perfect. That makes me happy. Alright, so we're waiting to get that so we can build a hall of stories. Uh, because that helps out later. And then we're also waiting for a five population surplus to build another one there. Uh, I forget what they really do. It's Imperium points, research rate, and money. So I'm all for all three of those things. Um, See, so yeah, I suppose we could invest on something here. Uh, the sanitation there is two. Oh, the sanitation everywhere is two, it seems. Alright. 
Uh, well, we'll just take one of these to make a surface mine, maybe? Yeah. Alright. Eric is leveled up. Cool. But yeah, basically, I just want... In the next, in the last few minutes, finally, I actually know how to speak English, apparently. Um, in the last few minutes, I want to go through quite a few turns so that I can take Jadra. Oh, political game block that shit. So yeah, we're going to be taking attrition, of course, because uh, it's winter. But um, we should still be able to fight them off. Faction. Apparently, people in my in my kingdom aren't happy, or not my kingdom, but apparently, people don't care to be my soldiers much. All right, so now I can build a hall of stories, and we'll do that. And yeah, we're gonna wait a few turns for that crap. Oh, oh, was he already deployed? <laughs> and I. Un Oh, whoops. That was kind of dumb. Anyway. Eric leveled up again. What? Didn't he just level up? Or do I have multiple people, multiple people named Eric? That'd be interesting. I just might. Who knows? No. I thought that was the Lombards for a second. I was going to be like, oh, yes, but no. Yep. Yay, you leveled up. Alright, so you're going to upgrade that. And you're going to upgrade that. Yeah, I had him deployed. That was kind of dumb. Or, I don't know. Whatever. All I know is that this place isn't as happy as it could be. Oh well. So yeah, they're going to start taking attrition now. So we're just going to keep waiting them out. And I'm going to take Jadra this episode. I don't care. You're joking. They actually took the time to send an army to me. Alright, looks like I'm not ending another turn then. So what is this? Eight and five. And then I have an army of six. Oh boy. Alright. Well, it looks like we're getting some mercenaries, boys. And by some mercenaries, I mean shit all mercenaries. Cool. So nine. Uh, what are we getting from put? Put it. Yeah. Shit all, basically. Can I, yeah, can I, like, hinder an army or something? Or, like, kill a general or something? Let's try it. Opportune failure. No, screw off. I can't believe they actually even bothered. Like, what the hell? Welcome, but expect scant... <sighs> Fucking AI. They literally have... How many people are they at war with now? Oh. They... Yeah, but I mean, like, these guys literally are, like, right here. They're gonna die because of this. <laughs> Whatever. That's how you want to roll. Alright. Well, I'll end another turn and we'll see what happens. If they attack, they attack. If they don't, well, thank God. Yep, they are attacking. Alright. Oh, they're just besieging, though. Alright, well, that gives me a chance. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to take attrition if I end the turn, so I can't do that. I'm going to attempt to assassinate the general again. Ah, it was a success. Alright, so, yes, of course, I am going to attack them. So, yeah, we're going to have a pretty pretty much just cavalry army, which is going to be interesting. Um, 
You know what? I'm going to take the risk. I need to I need to win this. There we go. Good. We're going to lose a lot of men. Actually, no, not even that many. It it was a big blow to the army, but not as many as I thought. All right, so that means Croatia is no more. Oh, look at this crap. Why are they only paying attention to me? Whatever. If people can come in from behind them and destroy them, be my guest. I want to watch them all burn. Anyway. So, Jadra. Yes. Market village. Fishing. No. No. Don't need either of those. Alright. Well, I reached my goal of taking Jadra this turn, at least. So, guys... This is the end of the episode. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, as always. And if you're enjoying this series, make sure you subscribe, because it's going to be coming out every couple of days. This has been Overkill, as always, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.